chapter seven gives an overview of the process of family therapy and what that looks like. Some of the objectives include describing common factors that are a part of therapy, exploring the impact of stressors and enhancers on the person conducting therapy, discussing the crucial nature of the battle for structure and the battle for initiative, examining common problems of overemphasis and underemphasis that family therapists make, and describing the appropriate treatment and intervention procedures in the initial, middle, and termination stages of family therapy. Common factors in therapy. The extra therapeutic factors are any aspect of a client's environment that creates change. The therapy relationship factors are the relationship of client family with the therapist and vice versa. Expectancy, hope, and placebo. One's belief that things can change can help catalyze change and help things get better. M m model and technique. The unique approaches therapists use to help families change. Major stressors for a family therapist include increased depression, um, sometimes internalizing BB issues and having compassion fatigue connected to and related to the family and the family's functioning and your personal investment sometimes that goes into that. Less time for one's own family due to work demands, unrealistic expectation of one's family, and psychological distancing from one's family due to professional status. Enhancers for family therapists, increased ability to solve one's family problems, acceptance of one's part in contributing to family dysfunctions, deeper appreciation of one's family, greater ability and desire to communicate effectively, synergy between personal and professional life. Overemphasis on details, the content, the details and the facts, the process, how information is dealt with in an interaction, redirection, a helpful method to assist family members attend to process over content, overemphasis on making everyone happy, overemphasis on verbal expression, overemphasis on coming to an early or too easy resolution, and overemphasis on dealing with one member of the family. So again, we can see all of this potentially playing a role. Underemphasis. Underemphasis on establishing structure, i.e. the battle for structure. Underemphasis on showing care and concern. For example, the therapeutic presence. Underemphasis on engaging family members in the therapeutic process. Underemphasis on letting the family work on its problems, aka the battle for initiative. Underemphasis on attending to nonverbal family dynamics. So these are all things that can also occur. The appropriate process, pre-session, pre-session planning and task, obtaining certain information, um, establishing a professional but cordial atmosphere, evaluating intake information, forming a preliminary diagnosis of what is happening with the family. In doing all this, a family therapist comes up with a case conceptualization. Appropriate process, the initial, the initial session or sessions, joining the family, um, that includes establishing rapport, inquiring about members' perceptions of the family, Observing family patterns and assessing those patterns, the family dance, subsystems, triangulation, enmeshment, distancing, things that we'll continue to talk about in subsequent chapters. Assessing what needs to be done, engendering hope for change and overcoming resistance, making a return appointment and giving assignments, recording impressions of family sessions immediately and documenting that. The middle phase of treatment, this involves peripheral family members observing the family, using circular questioning and using the power of the family as a whole, seeking to connect family members, establishing contracts and promoting quid pro quo relations, emphasizing some change within the family system, reinforcing family members for trying new behaviors. Staying active as a therapist, linking family with appropriate outside systems, focusing on process, interjecting humor when appropriate, and looking for evidence of change in the family. The termination phase or stage. Um, orientation, it's best to introduce the subject of termination before it's implemented, meaning we're talking about the ending of therapy and how it will end and when and why and all those things. This stage commences when family has reached its goals or will be concluding the contract contracted sessions. Summarization, reviewing what's happened during the sessions with the family. Discussion of long-term goals. This is the means by which families can be helped to anticipate, avoid, or modify potentially troublesome situations. Following up and relapse pre prevention. The idea behind this step is that therapy is a never-ending process that continues long after the therapist and family have finished their formal work together. So again, this is just a brief overview. Um, each of these various stages or phases may incorporate different numbers of sessions depending on insurance, depending on the needs of the family, etc. Um, but these are some of the basic stages or phases that we would see throughout the process.